Okay, this is just amazing. <laughs> it's just happened. And it's amazing. Um, this is the entrance to the, oh, I think it's called Olena, Olen, Olena, Oleni State Park in Florida. I've got my, my car with me and, and, and um, I was heading into the park and I was going to get a, uh, actually a yearly, a yearly pass. And there's a reason why I'm getting a yearly pass and not just a, a, a day pass. But anyway, I got out of my car, and before I knew it, I was engaged in a conversation with two guys who were biking. And I said, oh, you guys are biking. Um, I said, where do you come from? And they, t they told me that they were, um, that they had just taken the paved trail. And they were telling me how many miles, and then they said, oh, if you like biking, they said, there's so much more. You got to go down to Ocala. They have a uh, Santos, and they've got mountain biking down there, and they've got a Greenway, Marjorie Greenway. And so I'm like, hey, hang on, hang on. I got to write this stuff down. I got to write this stuff down. So I went into my car, and I got, got my uh, um, phone, and I started writing it all down. They were just awesome. And I said, um, I think they asked me what I was doing here, and I said, well, you know, I, I'm, I'm a missionary. And um, and then the one guy said, oh, my, um, we have missionaries in our church, and they're in, a, they're in China right now. And I said, oh, well, I, this is my work right here. This is, this is where I do my work. And I said, you know, I just tell people about Jesus. He, and he's like, oh, they're like, oh, that's cool. And I said, yeah, I, I said, you know, actually, I'm an introvert, and it's, it's, and it's through the power of the Holy Spirit that, and, and they started laughing because the guy said, he said, oh, that's funny. He said, because, you know, I'm an introvert, but guess what? I was a, a, a car salesman. And he said, you know, um, yeah, when I would go in, um, I, you know, I wasn't an introvert anymore. And, and, but I had to, I had to like have my moments alone because it was just so overwhelming. And I said, oh, I, I get it. I said, you know, I have, I'm telling you, I have encounters every day every day and uh, I said I, I really need my alone time and uh, so I come out here and and this is you know even though I have the encounters in nature well I'm you know walking and biking and hiking um, I still need my alone time and uh, so anyway um, he I, I said you know what you guys I I, I got to give you a book you guys are believers and this is what I do and they said, "Oh yeah, yeah, that's awesome, awesome." They were they were really cool. They were they were so excited, and um, so the one followed me to my uh, car, and he's like, "Oh wow, nice bike," and I'm like, "Oh, you know," I said, "It's the Lord." I said, "I got it on Facebook for a couple hundred dollars." I said, "It's actually like a seventeen hundred dollar, um, it's a seventeen hundred dollar bike." He says, "Oh yeah, you can get a lot of things on Facebook," and so while he was looking at the bike, uh, you know, I grabbed um, the books. And uh, then I went back to him, and there was another guy kind of standing on the side. I didn't even notice him. And, and this is really the, the exciting part of this whole story, because he was kind of off to the left. I didn't know who he was. He was this tall guy, um, older guy, but he was there listening, right? You know, I could tell he, he was definitely present. So I brought two books because I wasn't talking to him. I was talking to these two guys and it was a great controversy. And I explained, I said, you know, they hand these out in Trump rallies. And, you know, the one guy was like, he said, I don't get into. And I said, I, I get you. We only have one king. And people, the reason why we do it at Trump rallies is because people get distracted by all the politics. And, and they think that, you know, Trump is, Trump is the savior. And I said, there's only one savior. And Jesus is coming back. And so I explained a little bit about the book. And I said, this really is an advanced book. And so, but um, I said, you know, it, it's got stuff in it like spiritualism. I said, you know that spiritualism is creeping into our churches. And they're like, oh, yeah. And I said, you know, the Laodicean church, we're neither hot nor cold. Jesus is going to spit us out. We, we are um, rich and in need of nothing. And I said, you know, we see that in the churches right now. Now the church will go through and the wheat and the tares stay together. But um, I said, it's, it's, it's happening. And they're like, oh pfft, yeah, we, we see it. And so it was, it was a great conversation. So I gave him the books and I said, oh, can I take a picture of you guys? And then the guy, the other guy, he, he slipped in and he's like, well, I want my picture taken too. <laughs> and then he said, um, I want one of those books. <laughs> and I was like, Oh, I'm sorry. I, I said, are you with those guys? He said, oh, yeah, yeah. So uh, he followed me now to the car. 
And he said, you know, I, I got to tell you something. I, uh, I didn't want to say anything in front of those guys. And he said, you know what you said? He said, I, all of this too, for me, is just so important. He said, you know, just connecting with God. He says, I come out here and, and this is my alone time with the Lord. And I said, oh, I said, you know, instead of giving you, I gave him a great controversy. I got to give you something else. I said, just by what you said. And I was looking for a ministry of healing and I never did find it. But I grabbed a Christ object lesson. I said, I'm so sorry. And he said, no, no, it's okay. But he said, you know, I really appreciate it. I didn't even know what I said. And, and then I told him, I said, you know something? I was diagnosed, I said, uh, three years ago with this cancer. And this is my healing. This is, this is where, you know, this is where I discovered God's healing. And, you know, it's, and he's like, yes, yeah. And, and I said, you know, and I've been through a lot, you know, I was diagnosed with this cancer and then I had this, this back thing and, and I couldn't walk. And he says, oh, me too. He said, I had colon cancer. He said, and I had a really bad um, pain. And I said, okay. So, you know, and then I told him, you know, I, I went through a divorce, 20, 24 years, no husband. And he's like, oh, I went through a divorce too. <laughs> and I said, okay, so you know pain. You know pain. He says, yeah, I know. And I said, but he says, I'm so glad I found Jesus. And I said, yes, that's it. You, yes, you got it. <laughs> you got it. And um, so we talked a little bit more. And it was, it was really beautiful. And, I, and I'm like, you know, um, maybe the Lord, I said, you were listening for a reason. And I said, I always remind people that when God intersects my life with, with people randomly, it's not random. And maybe today the Lord needed to show you or, or just tell you that, you know, he's still with you. He's walking with you. He loves you. He cares. And, you know, here I am, the broken vessel, here, here to tell you that. And he said, you know, I, I wish I understood what my purpose was. Because, you know, the Lord has kept me here. But he says, I don't know what, what, what the, the purpose is. And I, I looked at him and, and I'm like, you just gave me your testimony. I said, I want to tell you something. God, God could have used the angels. But you know what? He didn't use the angels. He chose us. God could have used the angels, but he chose us. And I said, he conquered them by the power of the blood and by the word of their testimony. I said, brother, you have a testimony. You, you have a testimony. Look at what you've been through. So we are to be the light and the salt. I said, you are the light. You are the salt. You have a testimony. And then he looked at me and he said, you know, um, in my AA meetings, I get up there and I share my story. And I said, well, there you go. You don't even, you, I said, you, you're <laughs> right there. That's your purpose right there. You're already doing what the Lord wants you to do to share your testimony. You have a testimony. You're sharing it. See, that's your purpose. That's your purpose. And I looked at him and I said, even if, I said, maybe today is the day that the Lord just wanted to tell you, you have a purpose and that's it. And I really do. After this conversation, I really believe that the Lord kept, kept that guy in ears, in, in you know, in, in distance of hearing this conversation with the other people to follow me back to my car, to have that conversation and to end in, now he knows what his purpose is. I, and I told him, I said, maybe the Lord just sent me here today to tell you that. I, I believe, I believe he did. So anyway, that just happened and I'm just, ah, I'm just excited. I'm so excited. God is just, wow. And then I was talking to, um, uh, his name was Nick. He was the guy who uh, is the uh, ranger here. He works at the park. He's been here for 25 years. And uh, I and I just told him what happened at the RV that I'm staying at with the elderly lady. She needs some help. She's willing to work with me so I can stay. And I'm like, and I, and I said, I just found out the church here needs a Bible worker. <laughs> okay. I'm like, okay, this is crazy. 
this is like really crazy, but it's the Lord. And anyway, I gave him um, a Steps to Christ. And I said, are you a believer? He said, oh, yeah. And I said, well, here's a book that you can read and you can actually pass it on. It's really beautiful. I said, you know, when we're not feeling connected or we kind of backslide, slide, I said, this is a beautiful book to, to help you walk closer with the Lord. So there you go. This just happened. As soon as I leave and I get out here, the Lord's like, okay, I got it. You, there you go. Get to work. <laughs> and, you know, I just want to share one last thing. because In my previous life, and, and I, I just want to share this, I didn't have time for anybody. When I wanted to bike, when I wanted to kayak, when I want, it was 100% focused on training. I didn't see anybody. I didn't talk to anybody. I didn't say hi, hello. It was all about me and getting out there. I, I, I had to get out there. I would never stop and talk to somebody. I would never. And, and now look at, look at, look at me. Look at what the Lord has done. I have such peace. And I have patience. And, and when the Lord stops me to talk to people, it's, it is awesome. Awesome. And even if it, 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 it messes up my whole day, it really doesn't. Because the Lord will arrange it that, uh, that he will get me on the river. He'll get me on the bike trail. He, he will just arrange it all. And I just don't worry. I just don't worry. Because I've got God. <laughs> all right. Praise the Lord. God gets all the glory.